Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Molly. It's just, I'm reading this great book about balancing and... Ooh, what are you reading? Oh, yeah, me. Hi, you're here. Molly and I are having a great time reading today. Well, Molly's reading a cookbook, and I'm reading a book about balancing. I wonder if I could balance a whole stack of donuts on my head. Hmm? Oh, sorry, Molly, but we don't have any donuts. But instead, how about if I balance... Ooh. Yeah, how about if I balance this plunger on my head? Okay. Let's see. I can learn from this book. Let's see. <laughs> ah. Molly. Yes, I set that alarm clock to remind myself to do the clock rug stretch so I wouldn't forget. And it says here in this balancing book that it's important to stretch and warm up before you do any gymnastics or acrobatsies. So I guess I better do my clock stretch to balance my day. <sighs> oh, <sighs> well, better watch where I'm going. I might need a book on first aid. feels so great after stretching, I'm ready to try more balancing. Hey, would you like to try balancing with me? Okay, great! <laughs> wow, how much fun was that? So what are you going to read next, Molly? Oh, Old Doll in the Sea? Good choice. Well, I'm going to dive into Snow White and the Seven Clowns. Hope you catch something, Molly.
I shouldn't interrupt Molly while she's enjoying her book. I'll tell her about mine later. But right now, I need a new book to read. <sighs> well, let's see. Well, I've read this book on Clownosaurus 811 times. And this one on Clown Arenas 933 times. And I've read this moon book a bazillion times. It's my favorite, but still... Oh, I need a new book. Come on, new book. No. Uh, you're not books. Oh, a, a picture book, a, a chapter book, a mystery book, a joke book, anything. No. Pickle juice. Well, I have nothing new to read. Nothing in this whole couch. Nothing anywhere. Oh, it's terrible. It's tragic, really. Oh, woe is me. Good idea, Molly. Hey, and I'll take Granny Garbanzo this special book. See, it's got a picture of a garbanzo bean on the cover. It's perfect. Did you know that beans are part of a balanced diet? And speaking of balanced... I had a cart at the foot of the Knobby Knee Hills. Uh, Granny, look at what I can do. It uh, was the best of cards. Oh. It was the worst of cards. Uh, I'm trying my best, but... And in the garden there, I grew beets as big as... Granny! Your... Oh. 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 What? Where? When? What? Oh, Ooh. Granny, I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, uh, sorry, Snake. <laughs> oh, 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 Lunatka, you didn't frighten me. I was just so involved in my writing, I didn't hear you coming. Oh, well, I brought you a book. Oh, thank you. Books are the nicest gifts of all. And what a coinky dinky. You have brought me a book while I am writing a book. You're writing your very own book? Yes, I am, my little story lover. I am writing a book about one of my most favorite characters. Ooh, who's that? The person I know best, me. You're writing a book about you? And some of my most wondrous adventures. Like the time I rode an elephant bareback in the midst of a blinding snowstorm. You did? And the time I planted beets from here to Clowndom come to save Clown Town from going hungry. Granny, I had no idea. Well, you can't beat a beat. And I am also writing a book about oh, my greatest love. Romance, garbanzo style. Very impressive. So what are you going to call your book, Granny? I am going to call it The Garbanzo Chronicles. Oh, I can't wait to read it. Well, I'm afraid you will have to wait a little while longer, my little bookworm, until it is finished. Oh. Oh. Mm. Ah. What is all that grumble, groaning, moaning? Oh, oh. Major Bedhead, are you okay? Oh, don't worry about me, Lunette. Oh, this happens every month at the full moon when I have to make the deliveries from Ooh. the Book on the Moon Club. Do you mean that this bag is full of books? Yep, indeed, I do. Ooh. 
And I must say, Granny Garbanzo, you are their biggest customer. Oh, go on, Bedhead. Oh, what kind of books did you order, Granny? Oh, a little of everything. Mystery books. Oh, I like those because I like to look for clues. Oh, biography. Oh, those are stories of clowns' lives. Science books. Oh, you mean like my favorite about the moon? <gasps> oh. oh, and picture books. Molly loves those. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. But now I must continue on my rounds. Ooh, I almost forgot. I have another delivery to make. Postcard for Lunette the Clown. Oh, well, thank you, Major Badhead. It's from my Uncle Chester. Let's see. <clears throat> Dear Lunette. You know I have a passport to travel the world. But even more precious than that is my library card. With this very card, I can go anywhere all over our world through books. Why, I could even go into imaginary worlds inside books. I can get books about real things and listen to music from everywhere and read magazines about anything and everything. My, oh my, you know, if I had to pick my favorite place in the world, it would be my local library. When I was a young boy, Kindergarten, at least. I pleaded with my teacher, teach me to read. Please, Mrs. Please, show me my ABCs. Please, teacher, show me how to see. Now I can read, I can read Oh, thank you, teacher, I can read I can read, I can read Thank my stars above that I can read I just can't believe how much there is to know I find them stack by stack, read them roll by roll Wall to wall, up and down these halls, as far as I can see. I'm gonna read every book in the library. No, I can read. I can read. Oh, thank you, teacher. I can read. I can read. I can read. Thank my stars above that I can read. I can read. I can read. can read! Shh. Hugs and squishes, your Uncle Chester. Lucky! Oh, I want to have my very own library card someday. Soon! Oh, you will, you will. Oh, well, it better be soon, Granny, because I have read every book in the couch. The Adventures of Wonder Whiskers. That's your favorite, Snick. Wow. So, you have read every book on the couch? Mm-hmm. Yep, and when I don't have a book to read, oh, well, I think I'll just, well, well, I could just, just, Oh, Just... Lunette, here, open your package. I bet it's a book. Oh, I hope so. Ooh, well, it's the right shape for a book. Let's see. Oh, pickle juice. Oh. Not a book. It's still nice. A bookmark to keep your place in your big old storybook. Storybook! My storybook! Granny, oh, I, I forgot to even look in my storybook for a story I haven't read yet. Silly me. <laughs> there are lots of stories for you and Molly. Oh, I bet. You know what? I'm going to take this right back to Molly to have a look. Well, see ya. Happy reading, Lunette. <laughs> Thanks, Happily Major Happily ever after. Thanks, Granny. Bye, guys. Toodles, Snick. Bye-bye. Come on, let's show Molly. Hi, 
Molly. Look at the beautiful bookmark from Uncle Chester for our storybook. You like it? Me too. So, are you ready for a story? No? Why not? Oh, it's time for doll school. Right, that is very important. Molly goes to doll school now, you know. Well, come on. We don't want to be late. Today at doll school, Molly, that keen dolly, is going to learn her alphabet with a little musical accompaniment by moi, Lunette the Clown. Thank you, thank you. Oh, right. <laughs> Ahem. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Zowie, Molly, you did it! Oh, what a doll! Molly, are you ever smart? That's it for today. But we'll come back again another day. Want to? Doll dismissed. Come on, let's get back to the couch. Huh. I bet soon you'll be reading stories to me, Molly. And now it's story time. Ready? Good. Me too. Here's the storybook. I'm sure there's a story in here we haven't read yet. Oh, and my glasses. Aha. Could you get the lights, please, Molly? Thanks. Okay, comfy? Good. Now let's see. Nope, I read that one. No. And voila. Read those and... Oh! Here we go. We haven't read this one yet. I'm going to read to you the story of Birthday Cake for Breakfast. Once upon a time, ten or twelve sleeps ago, a little clown named Pudge began his new job as the pat cake pat cake baker's man. Pudge had only played pat cake before, but had never baked one. So, Pudge read lots of cookbooks to learn how. But the little baker had trouble following the recipes. Was that three cups of sugar or three cups of salt? Sifting flour is a problem when you have an itchy nose and a big sneeze. <laughs> Poor little Pudge was trying his best, but he was no good at this cake stuff. But someone was listening. A little mouse named Cinnamon who lived behind the spice rack. Cinnamon knew how hard Pudge was trying. She wished there was some way she could help. And one day there was. A courier from Clown Town City Hall arrived with a proclamation. It is hereby decreed that you, Pudge, the pat cake pat cake baker's man, are to bake the most magnificent birthday cake ever to be seen in Clown Town for His Excellency, Mayor Hernando Burlando. The cake must have seven layers, lots of frosting, with a big red cherry on top. The cake is to be ready for his birthday breakfast tomorrow. Pudge couldn't believe his ears. How could he possibly bake the mayor's birthday cake? <sighs> I guess I'll just try my best, said the brave little clown. Pudge got to work measuring, sifting, mixing, cracking, blending, stirring, pouring, and baking each and every layer. One, two, three, four, five, six. He was so tired when he took the seventh layer out of the oven that he fell sound asleep before he could even frost the cake. So Cinnamon crept out and got to work. When Pudge awoke, he couldn't believe his eyes. There on the table before him was the most magnificent birthday cake ever to be seen in Clown Town. Seven layers high, lots of frosting, and a big cherry on top. Just what the mayor ordered. Pudge wondered, 
How did the cake get all finished? Was he still dreaming? Then he saw a little paw prints in the icing sugar. I must have a fairy godmouse, Pudge laughed. When Cinnamon woke up, she was very hungry. And there, outside her door, was a special thank you from Pudge, the little baker at the Pat-a-Cake Pat-a-Cake Bakery. Her very own birthday cake for breakfast. The end. Huh. Another happy ending. And a delicious one, too. Ooh. Did you like that story, Molly? Me too. In fact, I've marked the spot so we can read the story again. <sighs> but right now, ooh, I think I'm as tired as that little mouse cinnamon. Yep. Hubba what? Hey, who made this big mess? Ooh. Me? Oh. I guess I did, didn't I? Well, which means I have to clean it up. It's only fair. So get ready for the 10 second tidy. Ready, set, go! Let's get between these covers and get comfy. And then tomorrow we can go to the library and get library cards. Well, I think dolls can get library cards. Hey, maybe we'll see you at the library tomorrow. Wouldn't that be just the best? Well, thanks for coming over. <sighs> what, Molly? You want to read some more? Okay. Once upon a time, I think it was a Monday. And the clown jumped over the moon.